Hello, everybody. Carla Nicole. Welcome to Live with Carla Nicole Show. Um, listen, I just wanted to jump on today and um, hope that everybody's having a, a beautiful Sunday. Man, listen, it's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon. It's a blessing to be on this side of the grass, right? <laughs> So, um, this is my live show I do every Sunday. Um, this is uh, Live with Carla Nicole. And with this particular show, um, this show is about transformation. And my thing is, when it comes down to it, um, transforming your life is very important. A lot of times, we, you know, we sleeping. We're sleeping on life, man. And I wanted to, I wanted to talk to everybody about this because, good morning, Dave. I want to talk talk about this because I think, you know, we take it for granted these days, man. And um, you know, we need to. Good morning, Tiff. So we're 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 sleeping on our life. We're not in, we're not really excited. We're not jumping out of bed to life. And so when we're not jumping out of bed, we're just kind of rolling out. We're like, you know, not really excited because maybe our life doesn't look the way we want it to look, or it's not feeling the way we want it to feel. But understand something. What's very, very important when it comes time. Yeah, you already know, Tiff. You already know. That's my girl, for real, for real. But um, when you sit back and you really look at it, our life is just really kind of like, you know, we're just not really excited about life. So I want to talk about this because I think it's very, very important when you're talking about sleeping on your life and not being excited about your life. Let me tell you something. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. And I'm not saying that to to get all saddened or to feel all like or get everybody sad or, or anything like that. But I want y'all to understand something. Nothing is promised, not even your days or your evenings. So I want you guys to think about something that's very important. The Transformation Series is about transforming your life. And in order to transform your life, you got to first learn some things that we have to change. And the number one thing we have to change is... Our attitude, our desires, <laughs> we have to evaluate our environment that's going on. You know, what, what, is it, what is it we get excited about and what is our taste? What is our fun taste? What is it that we have to be around? What is it we desire to be around? What is it? Because, see, these are things and factors that can impact your life. Trust and believe me, I'm telling you, a lot of times we'll be involved with People will be involved in certain activities. We'll be involved in stuff. And the next thing we know, we are sickened by what's, you know, going on. And why are we sickened? Because the exchange of certain people, you know, we go around and we're like, man, I, I came over here to see you and everything. I knew before I got here, doggone it, you were going to make my day miserable. But I came over here anyway. For what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to stop making decisions and not really being mindful of the decisions we're making is causing us to feel like we don't have an excitement for life and we're not excited about being on the planet we're not excited about really thinking about why are we here what is it that we're here to do i mean do we really know and if we don't then we need to be trying to figure that out i mean that's very important because listen to me i'm telling you People are sleeping on life and don't realize it until they get in hospice. And then they're like, oh my God, I only got this amount of time to be here and live. Now I must start living. No, live now. Why you in your prime? Why you have your beauty? Why And your beauty meaning your inner beauty. Your beauty of forgiving people. Your beauty of being excited. Man, I saw a video today of this woman. Um, and she was so excited about her birthday. She was dancing and excited and she was just loving on herself. I'm like, man, more people need to do that. But you know what? A lot of people don't know what self-love is. They think self-loving means relaxing. They think self-loving means traveling. They think self-loving means having a mate or having somebody love on you. They think self-loving is making sure we go to the spa and get massages. They think that's what self-love is. No. Self-love is not none of that. Self-love is looking inside of you and finding inside of you your inner beauty and your inner purpose and why you're here. And then once you find out that, 
your inner beauty starts to resonate when you start to chase in that purpose. Chasing your reason for being here. Learning how, oh my God, I didn't realize I need to evaluate my life. Because if I don't, what happens? We're miserable, right? We don't want to jump out of bed. We want to roll out of bed. We feel lonely. How are you lonely in this life? I don't care if you're in a relationship or or not. Why are you lonely? Loneliness means you are not in your purpose. Loneliness is a sign that you need to get started seeking and finding why you're here. Seeking and finding what it is that you need to do to make sure your life starts to peril into the reason it's supposed to be. See, we all have a path to life. We can make a left or we can make a right. We have many crossroads in our life. Okay? I'm talking about partner choices. I'm talking about people we hang with. I'm talking about family members that's in our life that are just toxic and we know it, but we hang with them anyway. These are kind of decisions we need to change to say, oh, wait a minute. This isn't healthy for my life to, uh, to, to uplift other people. I need to start to changing some things. Changing isn't hard. It's just a decision you have to make to advance your life to a newfound truth. A lot of people are sleeping on their life. And I'm not talking about sleep all day. I'm talking about sleeping in their purpose. They're walking in their life like, ah, I don't know what I'm here to do. I don't know. I, you know, nobody loves me. No, you know what you, you know what? When we sit down into thinking that nobody loves us or nobody is around because of this or that, We start to resent, if you understand this, this is very important. When you lack self-love, when you lack your reason for being here, you start to fall into these feelings of feeling like nobody cares about you. But let me tell you something. The main way to self-love is you loving you by understanding and learning what it is you're here to do. And outside of learning what you're here to do, also learning what it is you are good at. We don't take enough time to see what our gifts are. What is your gifts? Everybody's born with them. Everybody on the planet has a gift. The gift may not be your purpose, but the gift is who the gift is what points you in the direction of your purpose. Understand what I'm saying? Listen. I'm going to give you give this to you straight. I'm very direct today because I'm on a whole nother level of what this transformation series is about. So my energy is really direct and it's very, I'm very specific today because I want to get a lot out on this live right here because I want people to understand this is not just about, oh, it's nice to love yourself and all this. No, you have to be in a constant focus and practice of loving yourself. And in order to love yourself, you have to first get to know who you are. I'm not talking about who your parents said you were, who your mate thinks you are, who your baby say you are. I'm not talking about your roles in life. Why are you here and what are you here to do? And in order for us to really realize what that purpose and plan is, we must first master our gifts. Master your gifts. I don't care what gift it is. Learn to master that gift. Let me tell you why. Gifts that you are born with points you in the direction of your purpose. Prime example. I'll I'll give you mine as an example. I have a gift of poetry. I can write a poem effortlessly. It's just a gift. I can write a poem effortlessly. It's a gift. Okay? Being a poet is a part of me. Yes. But that's not my purpose. It's a gift that pointed me to the direction of my purpose. What does that mean? Well, because I'm a poet, I learned to be more creative with words. I learned to be more creative with how to write. I became a writer. So then I started blogging. Then I started being on the radio. Then I started saying, well, let me do these lives. And then I started doing other things. Then I started building a a platform for other people to grow. All of these things happened because of my gift and learning how to master that first. So I'm encouraging everybody who wants to stop sleeping on their life to start looking at yourself and evaluating what am I good at naturally. It takes me no effort really to get it right. I can, some people are just, they can get up and make a beautiful meal and it it never has been to a chef school ever. 
but they can go in there and listen you can have beans rice flour and they can go in there and make you a whole full course meal you're like where did you get all this food from and they're like out of your cabinet you're like i would have never been able to create no meal like that from what you just did out of that those few little um ingredients so obviously that person has a gift to cook right so we need to like i said we need to sit back and say what is our gift and then master the gift when you master the gift when you master the gift you then say okay I, oh my god like i have a I, I know how to cook yes you know how to cook or you know how to bake or you know how to draw or anything like that that may not like i say that may not be your purpose but that is your gift master the mess out of that gift master it learn everything you possibly can about your gift what does that mean like i said when i started writing poetry and started crafting my poems and all that stuff and being creative with words and coming up with different descriptions of words for one thing other than the other I'm able to do my, my sexual, sensually speaking conversations and be creative without being too, you know, too graphic. So I'm able to take creative words and say, this is what it is. And people aren't offended. Oh my God, what'd she say? They can chuckle or laugh because I know how to take a, a word for one thing that's sexual and be like, oh, I didn't know that that could go for that. Okay. And then they can get it and be okay and not be offended. So my poetry... It's not for me to be a poet. It's not for me to be out here and, and crafting. I got some, you know, I got some poetry out here. I got a single and all that. Yes. I have a whole page. I got 2,000 fans loving my poetry. Thankful and very humbled by it. But understand, that's not my purpose. That's just something I can, I could take a, I could take a, a scenario or a situation right now, go into it and craft a whole poem on it and have nothing to do with it put it away or post it people are like oh my god i love it it's like that has nothing to do with me but okay so again i'm taking my craft my gift my easy to do something and mastered the shit out of it so everybody on here whatever your gift is that you have i see you um you tiff you said you're a draw you can draw get to drawing and mastering that let me tell you about mastering your gift do you realize no one else on the planet can draw your artwork? When you understand your unique pen strokes or art strokes or however you paint or whatever, whenever you understand that there's nobody else on the planet that has your stroke, you'll start to stroke it more often. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Because you are unique. There's nobody else on the planet that can do what you do. Period. That's just point blank. So when you understand that, it's like, okay, let me go ahead and do some shit. Let me go ahead. Understand when we don't want to, when we don't, when we sleep on life, we waste so much time, man. We're wasting time that we could be advancing our gift. We're wasting time on what? BS, drama, ignorance. I want a man so bad. I want a man so bad, but you ain't loving yourself. Well, all these guys are mistreating me. All these men are being so mean to me. But what are you doing to you? Those men that you're picking, that you're partner choice and with, are the very reflection of how you treat yourself. Come on, man. But, but if you understand this, this is about self-love today. Transforming your life and getting out of your sleep or your comatose thinking when it comes to advancing your life. you got to start sitting back and saying, what is it that I am good at? Master the mess out of it. I don't care what it is. You might see it as minor. Well, nobody has this out here. You might be an awesome sculpture. You may know how to do that, okay? And some people may look at that like, Ain't nobody sculpting out here. It doesn't matter. Do it anyway. Master it. Put your own signature to it. Good morning, love. Put your own signature to it. Become the very person you're supposed to become. And understand, like I said, your gift may not be your purpose. It may not be your purpose. But your gift is going to point you in the direction of your purpose. Okay? So again, it's very important to master this. 
Now I have a course out here. I want you guys to go over and check it out. I have worked very hard on this course called Learn to Unlearn. And Learn to Unlearn is to help advance everybody. To get out of their old ways of thinking. Get out of the old ways of doing things. Habitually, we do things over and over, don't we? We have patterns, don't we? We even have patterns on who we choose to have in our life. I'm not talking about just lovers. I'm talking about people, friendships, all of that. We connect with people based upon what? Habit. See, a lot of times we don't want people in our life that seems boring, right? I want somebody to be, you know, have drama. And I prefer to be around people that makes me, you know, get all bent out of shape. And I want to know the latest stuff. And I'm aggravated because I don't have enough people around me. And all this is, all this stuff, right? I want you to think about something. Change your fun taste. Change your fun taste. Start to find fun in creating. It may not feel like that much fun to learn how to, oh my God, I got to get out here and write or I got to get out here and paint. Everybody's resting and I'm all alone. That's the time when you need to be crafting your spirit and tapping into you. So many people out here want relationships but don't know a, a damn thing about themselves. I'm going to say that again. So many people want relationships and don't know a damn thing about themselves. <laughs> that don't make no sense. You don't know anything about what you need, what you want, what you desire, what, you, what you're good at, what you're gifted with. You're not mastering who you are. You're not out here advancing others other people and then you want to wonder why you can't find somebody because you're spending too much time trying to trip over to get somebody stop worrying about other people stop focusing on you and understand man damn i didn't realize i got so much i can be offering people out here i didn't realize that i can really advance my life i didn't realize i could really go out here and do something to change the freaking planet think about think about the person who invented the wheel the wheel. The person that invented the wheel. <laughs> Think about it. What did that do for the planet? That person will never die. Never die. That's my that's my goal. My my whole my whole goal and my plan is to never die. I gotta be immortal. Period. That's my goal. Cause death ain't about leaving the planet. And 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 not doing anything is a is a is a most detrimental thing. But leaving the planet and everybody remembers you because of what you did and how you impacted lives and what you did to, to impact yourself. By example, you're changing the planet, then damn. And let me tell you something. What I do, I'm doing right here is an example. So take my example and run with it. Matter of fact, I encourage it. I don't ever sit around and say, well, I don't want nobody else to do this. And, you know, they taking up my space. No, y'all can't take my space. I got my own signature. You can't change that. So you growing and doing and being who you want to be, man, I support it 100%. Because my thing is, it's not about me. This is about the planet. This is, a, this is bigger than me. But a lot of times we don't want to sit down and really pay attention to what we do on the planet transforms the planet. Just us being here. There's nobody else. There's no other you. Ever has been and never will be. Period. Ever existing. Again. That's it. You are it. Let me tell you something. I told my son. And my son is a baby. Ten years old. And I told him. I said... You know, it's cool and all that you want to learn about, you know, the games and all that. But you got to get up and move. You think no babies have didn't wake up today? I said, the earlier you get this understanding, the better. There's children that die today. Your life is a gift. So you need to get up. You need to learn to enjoy and embrace your life, period. Understand that because you don't have to have it. <laughs> it's a gift. And damn it, you better take full advantage of your 24 hours out of your day. Now, let me tell you something. There's 18 waking hours. 
So there's going to be eight hours of resting. And I get that. So get your rest on or whatever. But get up. But don't just roll out of bed, man. Jump out of bed. Ex get excited about what you are here to do. Like I said, I want you, everybody that's watching me. I, it, it's not about me today. It's about you. I want everybody on here to tap into their gift today. You might be multi-talented though. I don't know. You might have several gifts. And with that said, that says a lot. Because someone that's multi-gifted or has multi-talents. Man, you could be doing, I mean, un insurmountable things. So again, your gifts or gift is going to point you to your purpose. It may be your purpose, but it may not. But I want you to sit and think and dive in today. I don't want you to waste one more day. Now, one more day needs to be wasted on not knowing why you're here. <laughs> why you are here. You need to be focused on why you are here on the planet. Now, and once you find it, get excited about it. F being in a relationship. F having a bunch of friends. F all that. I know that don't sound good. I know that don't sound like somebody else is going to tell you that. But I'm going to tell you that today. It don't matter about none of that. Because if you are in a relationship. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. And you aren't growing. To learn who you are. <laughs> your relationship's going to fail. That's 100. So why chase a relationship. When you should be chasing your purpose. Once you understand that, once you master yourself, once you start to love you, I'm telling you, I saw a chick today that was so excited about her birthday. She was dancing so hard. I thought, damn, I need to dance like that on my birthday coming up. Feel what I'm saying? I need to be dancing like that because you know what? She's excited about her life. But outside of that, that is a, that is a full blown reflection of how she loves herself. But I want y'all to get off of thinking that relaxing is, is, is about loving, self-loving. That's not correct. Stop thinking that if you're propping your feet up and just laying around relaxing, that is self-loving. That is not true. Stop thinking that. Going to the spa and having a spa day is not self-loving. Not true. Having a man or a woman in your life full-time to be with you full-time is not self-loving no also hey Letitia, listen inbox me i'm a i'm i'm a wisdom coach honey that's what i do so just inbox me love anytime we we can have a definite conversation but stop chasing these men or ch chasing these women because you're wanting to get what let me tell you something about partner choices partner choices hey I'm not dogging those massages. I'm just saying those are not self-love acts that we seem to think they are. Self-acts, our, our care for ourselves comes from investigating ourselves, Doing an inventory of you. What do you, what, like I said earlier, what are you good at naturally? What are you good at naturally? That it's, it's like effortlessly. Are you good at decorating? Are you good at writing? Are you good at singing? Can you write a poem? Are you great at, at, at mastering um, something unique? I, I tell my son all the time. He loves cars. I said, baby boy, you love cars and you know how to film them and, 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 uh, and take pictures of them. You can be a sports car calendar photographer. That's only uh, your style of doing. So you can be that. You can create your own design. You know what I you know what I found out? And it was kind of funny when my dad told me. He said, Your mom created her jobs. I said, created her job. She said, he said, Your mother created her job. She didn't go to get and you know what? He's right. I said, Okay, okay. So with that said, that's in my lineage. So in my lineage is to create. So I would be doing a dishonor to my late mother, not being, not being in, in full, full flow of trying to figure out what I'm here to do. That would be completely disrespectful to my late mother. 
or my father that's an inventor or my uncle that's creators. I'm talking about I come from a family, a lineage of that. Do y'all know y'all's history? Have you checked on your grandparents? I'm not talking about checking on them and seeing how they're doing. Have you checked to see what their talents and gifts are? If you're unsure about your own, it's in your bloodline that you may already have gifts that you don't even know because you haven't engaged with your elders in your family. Mojave, like I said, it's very important. Hit me up. Inbox me. We can get together. I can be your coach. Listen, this is what I do. But we need to really look at who is, who is, who are, who are, who is in our downline. Who's in our downline? Who is in our family? You know, I got an uncle that has a Wikipedia, so he'll never die. <laughs> so I got a, I got an immortal uncle right now. <laughs> okay. So as far as I'm concerned, I got something that I got, I got something to live up to. I, I have to, I have to honor his, his legacy. I got to honor my mom's legacy. I got to honor my dad and, and my family. What good am I? My uncle called me up one time and honored a random. I was working and doing something with work. He called me up and said, you know, you can't quit, right? I was like, okay, <laughs> you can't quit. It's not in your bloodline. So, yes, sir. So, when we understand that, it's very important that we understand what we're here to do. But again, if you don't know your purpose, you need to be getting on that today. And I, like I said, look at what you're naturally good at. You don't even know. You may have multiple talents, but what are you most good at? It is very, very important. Well, Jasper, listen. I'm sorry, Jester, then you, you may have, you may have a missionary you may be a light worker out here. We don't know, but that may be your gift. But that is in your lineage. So there's a certain level of what? There's a certain level of honor that you must uphold in your life to honor your legacy that has been passed down to you. A lot of times we don't know where our legacy is. So we don't. But now if you don't have a history or you're not sure of your history, start your history. Start it today. By starting to tap in to your own purpose, to learning your gifts, to learning what you're here to do and allow. Say, I'm willing to take the call because let me tell you something. I'm here every Sunday at 12 noon because I've been instructed spiritually to do this. It's not because I, I couldn't be doing something else, <laughs> but I told God I'd take the call. I'll take the call, God, if that's what you want me to do. I'll take the call. But a lot of times, God is knocking on our door, and we don't answer. And then we're wondering, why is my life like this? Why don't I have what I want? Why don't I have what I need? Because you're not in alignment spiritually. <laughs> Again, I know, I, listen, I have a course that I am that I am really strongly encouraging guys to take called Learn to Unlearn. I will put the link in here so that you can sign up for it today. It is vitally important. It's not about me. It's about your own personal growth. It's about how to get to the next level. It's about how do we ensure that our life is going to be at a different level and more improved. And then, janitor, you can do it. Let me tell you something. It's very important. And a lot of times, our fear will stop us. Our fear will stop us from our from our purpose because it's scary it's like well, i don't know if i can do this you can god doesn't give gifts for nothing god gives gifts because he trusted and entrusted into you it's just your it's your due diligence to say okay i'm i'm willing to do it i'm willing i'm willing to take on the call but understand it's not going to be it's not going to be peaches and cream understand that because when we sit back and, t and pay attention we'll start seeing oh i remember i told god i take the call and i'm done I told god i take the call and i would make changes and i would i would do what i needed to do and the very next day god woke me up i think at 4 30 in the morning and asked me to get up and write and i thought to myself right now do you want me to get 
you want me to get up and write right now? And God said, I need you to write this. I need you to write this now. Start the truck, baby. And I said, okay, I'll write. So I got up and I wrote. I never thought about it until later on. And I thought, my God, if I wouldn't have wrote when God asked me to, but I told God before that, I'll do whatever you want. Use my life for, for, you know, inspiring other people and didn't get up and write. Guess what would have happened? That would have been a dishonor to my so-called request. Yes. And fear is so deep. Fear is so life gripping. So when you, when you challenge your fear, um, you'll find that there's beauty, there's excitement, there's, there's life. When you just stab and kill that fear. Let me tell you something about fear and I'm done. I keep telling you guys I'm done. <laughs> I used to be terrified to read poetry or to talk to people like this. Terrified. Do you hear me? I was like, I will never be able to stand in front of people and talk to them. That's just no way. I'm, I'm terrified. I have stage fright, something horrible. My stomach gets in knots. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I'll never forget I started standing in front of people and and I have never went back. So my challenge to you, Letitia, if your fear is holding you back, then challenge your fear. Step in front of that fear and uh, give that fear your ass to kiss. <laughs> I'm just saying because, listen, honey, fear is is grippling and it will take every ounce from you, especially in your purpose. And really, we don't have time. To sit around and, and, and not really focus on what we need to do. And not focus on what our mission and, and what we need to be completing in our life. And when we, and when we understand that, we will um, advance our life. And man, ain't nothing sweeter than this. Like I said, all these beautiful people on here watching me. But what if I would still be scared to speak to people? I wouldn't have when I'm gifted right now. I wouldn't have the honor of being people's coach. I wouldn't have the honor of creating my courses and people actually taking the course and it changing their life. People coming to my workshops, showing up to my workshops and learning something and saying, you changed my life. Ain't nothing like that. If I would have never got up and faced my fear, I would still be scared to death. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to share this video. Someone out here needs to hear this. Make sure that if you want me to be your coach, you can call me directly at my 800 number. It's 844-5-WISDOM. I can give you all the information. You can become a Wisdom Focus Group member. That's a part of my group. A Wisdom Focus Group member is $9 a month. And we have a lot of interesting, very hugely impactful um, calls that I do with everybody that's, you know, video chatting. We do it once. I'm sorry. We do it twice a month. I have heart and mind calls that I talk to everybody one on one. And then I have centrally speaking calls where we talk about sexuality and sensuality and sex edu and sexual education. <clears throat> also, if you don't know about this, I also have a YouTube channel. You can find me on YouTube. It's under Carla Nicole. So, like I said, if you want to be any of that, please don't hesitate to call me. It's 844-5-WISDOM, extension 0, and I will take your call. If you want to text that number, you can as well. It's 844-594-7366. You can text that number. I will leave all this information in the comments so you guys have it. And that way, um, you guys can get a hold of me. Um, again, you know, I'm about encouraging and... and um, and telling everybody you have a purpose and there's no other you on the planet ever and there never will be period so you got a job to do you need to get busy <laughs> you need to get busy um but let me tell you something else these videos that i do send out an energy okay and so who's supposed to hear this gets attracted to the video that's why that's why you're here so I'm glad you're here too, Jester. And like I said, um, again, um, I'm so glad that I helped you, Letitia. 
uh listen we're, we're gonna work together and i will without any type of hesitation be your coach but understand i'm a tough coach but i'm also a coach that that has compassion and i really want to see you advance your life it's just it's just fear and fear is easy to conquer trust me it's not that hard all right so i'm out of here loves i love every one of you i'm so glad you guys are here um and again, if you need anything, like I said, if you need a wisdom coach or you need someone to advance your life or help you, by all means, call me, 844-5-WISDOM, extension zero. And like I said, if you need to have a change or you're feeling like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, look to your gifts. Say it one more time. Hey, son, I see you. Look to your gifts. This is my this is my son Britt Mitchell. That's my son right there. That's my 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 daughter's love life, love lover of her life. So um, I want you to also tap into your gift. So whatever you're natural with, whatever you're whatever you naturally can do, whatever just comes easy to you, that's your gift. Allow it to point you to your direction. Okay, um, and then also if you need to. Um, want to set up being you know being a uh, a client Letitia go to my coaching page it's Carla Nicole Wisdom Coaching Services and sign up uh to get that taken care of through there also so like I said everybody I'm out of here I love each and every one of you make sure to share this video somebody needs to hear it enjoy your Sunday I hope you guys have a blessed day and like I said I do this every Sunday at 12 noon if you guys want to want to come back next week i'll be back at it and it's about the transform transforming of your life and this is called the transformation series if you want to see the other videos hashtag transformation series and you can pull up all of the videos that i've done on this series alone if you want to watch random live with carla nicole show uh videos you can go to my group called live with carla nicole and ask to be a part of the group all right so I'm out of here, lovelies. I love you. And I am out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.